Cheers. Yeah, look at our beautiful yeah. new Mom's Time Out glasses. They're awesome. They're lovely. Um, we're excited to be here. We're excited for another new year with a lot of uh, great topics that we have planned with some exciting and interesting and fun guests that we have coming up. We were in New York this yep. past weekend. Oh my God. We went to New York. We went so to fun. Girls. Guess where we went. All Guess right. where we went. <laughs> we went Anybody? to... You can't see yeah, we it. Yeah, right? we did. We had so fantastic. much fun. We got to we ask questions about. and speak with Whoopi. She's my new best friend. New best and friend. And Wendy Williams. Told them about our local show. They yes, were really we excited yes. about it. Asked some great mom questions. We did. Thank you to Brie Pelsar, who really hooked us up. Yeah, and Thank you. Absolutely. We yeah. sat in the front row. We got to ask, like Cami said, questions. We got Dance. to meet Brian, the executive producer of The View. We did. We danced we kicking on butt. We danced on, on yeah. set. We entertained the crowd a little bit. at The View desk, we which did. was amazing. It was fun. We got our PR person in trouble because she was trying to do live That's feeds right. of she us. She was almost taking away by the And thank you yes. to The Cake Gypsy for making delicious cupcakes that we gave to The View ladies. They were beautiful. And... We went and got our hair done at Blow. Of course, in New York. Thank Blow you, New York. Blow, New York. Yes. Thank you, Jean thank and you. Blow. And thank you um, just to the View ladies. They were so wonderful. They were ABC wonderful. Tarot. We also gave them glasses and t-shirts. Yep. Yep. We did. We and did. these glasses are new with our logo. And they were made by, I don't know if I pronounced it right, but it's Lauren Messiniak. And we'll post it up on our Facebook. Yes. But she started a whole little craft business on the side, and she's been doing amazing stuff for her You too have so one cute. of these. Yes. Look, they hold a lot of wine. Yeah, yeah. They, like they hold like half a bottle. <laughs> it's a generous, generous. <laughs> is this the walk away? Because it says, Mom's hey, Mom. And it's our time. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, but that yeah, was great. lots of great stuff happening. So, um, tomorrow marks the one year anniversary of Trump holding the presidency. And I thought um, it was interesting because we've been hearing a lot about a lot of the legislation that he's been trying to push through. And I was, CNN did a nice little report card on President Trump and where he um, sort of sits. Uh, exercising presidential power, A minus. Legislating, B minus. Coalition building, shocking, C. Mm. America standing in the world, a D. So I know the okay. views that we talk about here are only our personal views. I um, think coming up on the one year anniversary of his presidency, you know, I think that he's lost a lot of the people that from the other party that believe in him and thought that he was going to do what he said he was going to do. He's losing the baseline Republicans. I mean, the people that got him elected absolutely probably are still behind him because he's doing what he said he was going to be doing and building. Well, we don't have to go mm -hmm. into what he's mm -hmm. building, but right. we know what he's building. But I just thought it was, you know, we should take a minute and kind of talk about people's feelings in terms of, you know, midterm elections are coming up in November mm -hmm. and we don't really know what's going to be happening. Right. But I love hearing about all of the other candidates that are already throwing their hats in the ring. I think it was. We've heard a couple of actors. We heard about it in New York. Mm -hmm. Was it? Um, he played the Tooth Fairy. What's his name? The Tooth Fairy. Oh, um, the Tooth Fairy. Yeah, the wrestler. The actor. Not the, yes. not the Rock. Yeah, the yeah, rock. yeah. The rock. the rock. Oh my! I don't think the, the Rock and Tooth Fairy. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, know. No, I, did play I, the tooth I remember fairy. that now. I, mean, yes. I don't know. Are you yes, hearing this? Are people talking about no. it? I mean, I think we're tired of talking about it. But I mean, he's already been in office one year. Mm -hmm. Right. I think it'll be interesting, too, to see what the Women's March brings out. Because Absolutely. the first Women's March, right after he, his inauguration, I think it was four million people worldwide Larger than the participated inaugural. in this, which is right. the largest and now the second, protest the second one's coming up this in American weekend. history. Yes. Yep. So that's huge. So I will be interested one. to see what happens at this Women's March. Um, I think that all of the issues that he has um, you know, brought mm -hmm. with him mm -hmm. through this past year um, are still there. Are consistent, yeah, <laughs> are consistent. And it, it's interesting, like you said, it's going to be interesting to see um, where his support base is now. One thing that he has done is he absolutely has unified women. He has unified minorities. He's unified people who are not, who have not spe stepped into the political world before. Yeah. Oh, now unified say, them against him. Uh, yes, absolutely. Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, say, point. Good point. I want to do something. Yeah, so that's a good thing he's done. We should let him now, right? I think I mean, he knows. you're right. Yeah. You're totally right. He's tweeting out whatever he wants to tweet oh, out, gosh. so he absolutely is still yeah. doing it's what he's doing. It's scary, though. You don't know do. what's going to come out of that tweet no. every day. We don't know what's going to come right. out of that tweet every day. Yeah, but you know what? He said that he should just stop tweeting. 
Well, so he, they take can't his phone control away. him. They can't. They can't. <laughs> they can't yeah. control him. Yeah. They just can't. And so it'll be interesting. I love. I love the fact that women are, we'll just talk about women for a minute. I love that they are unifying and they're standing up and they're doing a march. Not only in Washington, but we have our own march coming Everywhere. up in all over the, all the, world. Of the cities. Right. All over um, the world. So are you guys going to I, I think yes. so. Are you? Yep. yep. Right. I think I'm going to bring I don't my care girls my organized. Organized. Yep. yep. Yeah. Right. I have a group yeah. of people going. Yeah. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be yeah. interesting. Yeah. 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 So that Especially what's going on in Hollywood, now more than ever, right? I yes, mean, just right. people that don't get involved so much, maybe right. in the corporate world, they, and it they're seeing it, yep. they're standing, you know, up. standing up together. Standing up for and it reaches everybody. I mean, it's the the Hollywood, the Me Too movement. It's right. Comedians the, are standing up now. I was yeah. listening this morning on the radio, and one of the... Um, one of the hosts on the talk show that I was listening to was saying how comedians are really truth tellers in a way. They are standing mm -hmm. up and they're saying what they because they can kind of not get away with it, but they can say what say, they yeah, feel. Anyway. And that's, all of the talk funny. show hosts. If there's a little bit of truth in what they're saying, that's what makes it funny, I think. Too. Any right. joke, right. any right. joke, right? right. There's, there's always truth, truth in, in a little bit. That's why it's so it. hilarious. Right. It's a big yeah. joke. What's happening now in 16 Pennsylvania Avenue? But anyhow, Carol, what, <laughs> yeah. do you, what did you want to talk about tonight? Well, besides that? Carol I had a thought that Mark Zuckerberg. The founder mm -hmm. of Facebook. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, recently, his 2018 goal I thought was very interesting. In that, he wants to shrink Facebook. Did you guys hear about that? I did. I did. A little bit, yeah. He wants, shrink it so, like, what we see. He wants to kind of limit the feeds that we're seeing because mm -hmm. they did a poll, and it's really big of Facebook to take this and step forward and say, yeah, we're not doing a good thing because people are feeling bad when they're scrolling, kind of the passive scrolling that you do through Facebook. Mm -hmm. A study showed that people feel bad mm -hmm. about you know, after they've done this. Right. So he wants people again to connect. He wants people mm. to like their friends' things. He wants there right. to be, you know, communication that, again. That's what their originality that's of what it all was. The, yep, well, they're probably seeing a lot of with. bad things people coming too. out of Washington, right. so that's why they're feeling bad. <laughs> so and they feel bad that they're scrolling? They feel well, like what they're maybe seeing. they're yeah. seeing There's this really just passive scrolling, mm -hmm. not a lot of interaction. And, right, right. They got mm -hmm. a lot of backlash on the whole Russian fake news, mm -hmm. all of that came right. out. Yeah. So I think he's taken a step back saying, look, I want it to go back to what I thought originally I wanted Facebook to be about, is people mm -hmm. connecting. Mm -hmm. um, you know, investors are scared because they're saying, well, you what know, our ads aren't yep. going to be there. Right. Right. We're not going to get the, um, the big investors because that's mm -hmm. not where he wants it to go right now. And, you know, they're concerned. I mean, I think I read a couple days ago that stock had dropped the most in a year that mm -hmm. it had dropped. Really? Yep. On Facebook. And they also yeah. talked about two other stock. things they wanted to do to tweak Facebook, which was one, create a pause button. Yep. Did you hear yeah. that? Which yeah. I love. So it's I like, like it's similar too. to blocking, but apparently you don't know you're getting blocked. Right. You just put it's a just pause. It's like, a little break. You know, I've seen enough of Cammy's face. Right. You, you have, have to put a pause, pause on it. Right, right, right. 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 Pausing Never, Cam. Right. Never. No, I mean, don't Who pause. Who would pause me? Don't pause me. But you can pause. And the other thing was, um, there was one other thing Facebook was trying. Oh, so local places, you know, there you can you can actually download. I think oh. it's a separate app. But we saw that. It's part of Facebook weekend. where you can in your local community. They know your local community and what's they can happening. tell you what's going on yep. in your community. Right. Yep. Kind of right. Which is nice. Out. You can already almost see that when they say events happening in right. your neighborhood. Or events mm -hmm. happen events that right. your friends are interested in going to. And it's going yeah. to become much more personal like that. Closer, yep. smaller Facebook yep. world. It's not going to be bringing you the news from right. the yeah. ads and the news yep. and the things well, that Well, I think that's what people like from Instagram, Instagram too. They and I think right. they yeah. heard that. Right. Yeah. That they felt more intimate mm -hmm. on Instagram. So we'll see what happens. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, it is. It is a great idea. Good good topic. Yeah. Yeah, relevant okay. to everybody. I think it's important that we continue to talk about current events and things that are happening. Right. And, yeah, so Adria um, had this great idea we're going to start doing. On hot, topic. Hot, hot topic. Well, What's I didn't have the on? idea. We stole it from my friend Whoopi. We <laughs> stole <laughs> Megan <laughs> and Joy, but the Whoopi ladies said, on the view. This is what you need to do. Yeah, so exactly. we are going to do it. Stepping it up a little bit. And we're going to okay. talk about things that are a little uncomfortable. But you know what? This is what... Don't Maybe moms, about, we're always uncomfortable. I mean, I feel like I'm always talking about yeah. uncomfortable things. Right. Of course. Whether it's like you're not going to the mall by yourself. Right. Because but you, know, you have to have you know. healthy debate. You do mm -hmm. absolutely. And you know, I, I put a I put a poll out there on my own Facebook page just this week. You guys saw, and I asked my friends in the community, "What would you guys want to hear about? Yeah. What's yep. your pressing issues?" Yep. I had like 50 comments, like, "Oh, yeah. this, that, this, tax reform, this." That's good. Anything we need to from hear about local it. to mm -hmm. to um, chewing on a, a Tide Pod, which is big, oh, big on the right. news now with teenagers. That's so, right. crazy. Tide Pods, yes, Tide Pods, so crazy. dangerous. Oh, so dangerous. Yes, because so they want to see the stuff. faces that the kids are making when they're eating this. How many kids end up? And so many kids end up at Connecticut Children's in the emergency room department because they're thinking that that's like a candy. So I know a lot of the laundry detergents have made them so that you can't rip them or bite them. 
But um, but these aren't little poison. kids. These are teenagers. They're teenagers. They're teenagers. Yeah. 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 Oh my gosh. I know. Yep. So there's a lot to talk about. So um, we have a lot to talk about, okay. but we will be back talking about New Year's and New Year's resolutions and how to keep ourselves healthy in the new year. And we have a great guest who is going to show us how to do that and all things for yourself, to make yes. yourself feel good. Yep. Including you know, staying healthy. I think red wine is I'm not sure healthy. for the intestine. We'll not have to ask her. for the month yeah. of January. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> Bye. Hi everyone, so welcome back. I'm here, we are here with Melody Gibbs. She's welcome, the owner Melody. of Peaceful Balance. Um, she is the holistic health coach and colon hydrotherapist and licensed massage therapist. Um, I wanted just to give you a brief intro um, to, to Melody. And welcome, by the way. Welcome. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Thank you so you wanted to help people live healthier, happier lives and you started your journey in wellness in 1999 attending Central Connecticut School for Massage Therapy. After being in practice for four years, you became interested in colon hydrotherapy and studied at the International School for Colon Hydrotherapy in Florida. Nutrition went hand in hand with all modalities that you practiced and you went on to get a certification at the Institute for Integrative Nutrition in New York City. And well, you were certified, and you're certified in food healing from food. Um, you also uh, became a level two facilitator. And I also found interesting when I was on your website that you also practice ear coning. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's I've never so done that. But I found that. it very interesting. I love it. Um, and you started your hydrotherapy, the colon hydrotherapy, in Manhattan and West Hartford, mm -hmm. and um, in 2005. Um, before founding your own Peaceful Balance in 2008 in Farmington, Connecticut. Correct. So welcome. So we have lots of questions oh, yeah. for okay. you. That's interesting. <laughs> yes. So talk. all about nutrition, pretty much right. in the body, health. Um, how does the my first question I guess would be how how does the massage play into these different things? For example, the colon hydrotherapy. It's amazing um, when you do when you have massage. And I, I hope you all at least have mm -hmm. had yes. one massage in yes. your lives. And we love it. It's very relaxing. Yeah. And even as I do a colonic for someone, I massage their backs and their abdomen because that helps to aid them relax. And then there's points along the back that helps them relax and helps the colon relax as well. And you just get a, a much better um, results. But massage therapy in and of itself is... Uh, it's just it it is so good for you um in so many different ways that it it helps your body relax nobody really realizes and people who don't get touch on a regular basis it's an amazing thing for them as well right. Right. so women who are married you mean yeah <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> No. Sorry, no. I crack myself up. <laughs> so she does. She cracks us all up. I'm sorry. So, can you tell everybody? I'm not sure if everyone here is familiar with colon hydrotherapy. Mm -hmm. What exactly yes. is it? Yeah. I mean, I, I know no what it is. Yeah, that's no. what colonics. Is it? Most people don't know when you say colon hydrotherapy, but if you say colonics, mm -hmm. and um, it's a, uh, a nice way to say it is a warm water lavage of okay. the large intestine. Okay. And everybody's heard of enemas, mm -hmm. and it, this is just a continuous amount of water. And it's people, I had, um, I have uh, women who come to me after the birth of their babies because th their hormone level has just really oh, kind yeah. of shifted, it shifted things, and things just aren't right. They of course. So the uh, honestly, the the to have one colonic is amazing because it can just right the wrong right. and everything just starts moving. And you do that right in your studio, mm -hmm. right in your... Yeah. So let me, can I ask you a question? Yes. So New Year's, yes. people are always talking about, I'm going to eat healthier, I'm going to yes. exercise. Yes. Does nutrition play a big role in digestive, I mean not in digestive system, but how somebody is not necessarily feeling or looking, but it, it seems like it's connected to everything. It is absolutely connected to everything. and. When you have to understand that, like, I mean, so many people, you know, the processed food, mm. and it, it, it's an illusion. Processed food is an illusion. 
because you're thinking, oh, it's fortified, it's this, it's that. But you start to read a label. Right. And my, my big thing is um, five ingredients or less. Right. Mm. And that means that, I mean, if you have trail mix, how many different things? Okay, so there's a few more things in trail mix. But right. there shouldn't be additives. Right. There should you be cashews and raisins. Right. That's what I was going to say. Each of the if you can't right. pronounce it, put it back. Right. And start to look up. I had a mom tell me that her son wanted um, a cereal that was on the shelf. And she said, okay, sure. Let's start looking up the things. So he started looking up not the wheat, you know, not the sugar. They know that. But they started looking up the big words mm. and what it does and cancer-causing and mm. all this and, and colors. Oh, my God, the colors. The colors are dyed, 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 yeah. blue dyed. And there's so many of the colors that are, um, have been taken off the market in other countries. There's, um, it, I think it's red six. Mm -hmm. There's red yep. 40, but red six, I think it is, that was taken off the market for topical. It was put in stuff that you would put on your skin. It was taken off the market because of that, but you can still eat it. Oh, oh my gosh. So it's just things like that. But this uh, little boy, this, this mom had said, you know, look these things up. He put it back. He didn't want to because he started to understand. And I thought that was a wonderful thing to do. Mm -hmm. right. So are you a nutritionist f for the family, not just for um, women, men, but for young people also? Or do I you not, what do you consider yourself? If someone says Melanie, I mean, you have a lot of titles. Right. I mean, read them I'm, all. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not quote unquote a nutritionist. I'm a health coach. Mm -hmm. health coach. And coach. the idea behind that is that um, you just, you steer people in the right direction. Because right. some people just don't know how to go and they just, right. you know, throw up their hands. Right. And it's kind of like crowding out. If somebody goes to me, if somebody comes to me and says, I want to eat better, I go to McDonald's every day for lunch. Well, okay, well that's, you know that's not good, <laughs> but I don't know how to change it. Right. So, okay, so let's go to McDonald's maybe three days a week, and those other two days, let's have a salad. Let's make a salad for, you know, and I'll tell, you know, if you prepare ahead of time, yeah, it's so much easier. Yeah, you're not going to get up in the morning. A lot of people just can't do it. They no. can't get up in the morning. All the time. Everybody's and, rushing right. around. Yeah. Right. So you actually help people um, put together a menu or put together I can, their I can meal help planning. Mm -hmm. I can help great. them with that. Yeah. And like food choices as far as like when you, if you shop at Whole Foods versus, you know, um, another grocery store, you, you, like, would you go through labels? Like yes. Like what to look for in a pot? Like yep. this pasta, can you can show a picture, Why stuff the, like mm -hmm. that. Okay. Yes, I absolutely, yep. And, I feel um, like a lot of, well, I know I need it. I did see a nutritionist you know, uh, last year, and it was very helpful. I mm. stopped, but something like that, and even reading labels is so mm -hmm. hard. It's, reading it labels, is hard. I think it's cute. And there are some decent things, like you see the word toporol, and you go, oh my God, I don't want that. That's vitamin E, you know? You have to know, right. but seriously, if it's this long of a word, it's probably, it's probably, it's probably not probably a good know. thing. Yeah. And I heard something about olive oil. Can you tell us the benefits of olive oil? As yeah, an Italian I, person, of yes, course, I cook yeah. in it. Pretty much, I. We do everything with olive oil. Yes, yeah. It's great for your skin, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there you um, go. It, I had written a blog. It's on my website as well. And all the oil, and it was very interesting because the oils that you're getting are, they put flavorings and um, artificial stuff in it, and it's not really olive oil. You have to be careful where your olive oil comes from. Right. And it was the Italian mafia that they were talking about that said um, they were making more money from bad olive oil, oh like selling bad olive oil, well, good wow. for them, a bad name but more money than you can get selling heroin. They were making wow. more money. Because people were thinking Fine. that this was, was good. Good. Adding yeah. additives yeah. to the olive all, oil. All the additives, yeah. And it's, it, it's, it it's, an it's an so sad. Oil. And what should be in olive oil? Nothing but olive right. oil. Right. But they, yeah. And it's just, um, they, well, yes, and that's what it'll say on it, too, but it's not true. And the same is true of honey. Oh, all the ah, wonderful benefits right, of honey. Right. But you've got to make sure that it's honey. It's if you go to a discount here. store and you can buy honey on the shelf, chances are it's not all it's honey. Really? It's it's um, corn syrup and, and they put flavorings in it to make it taste like honey. But so, so olive oil is good for I mean more than just Oh olive oil is wonderful. And I love avocado oil. So what do you mean the well? skin? Yeah, people are like people putting put it on, about people put it on their hands. I mean uh, avocado oil. Yeah, I love avocado right. oil. Right, I've tried it. It's, it's, it's wonderful. Really, and it's really very, good. it's very, it's, some people don't like the flavor it's of richer. olive oil. It's like, I think yeah, it, but it's very, okay. yeah, I have uh, a couple recipes that I use the mm -hmm. uh, avocado oil yep. in because it's just very bland, but mm -hmm. it's very good. And coconut I make salad oil, dressing. too, was hot yeah. like last year. How's that? What do you think of that? 
good I also. Love, yeah. It's good for and your hair too, right? Yep, it's good for it skin. Is. And people yeah. cook with it, yeah. All yep. of it. And so the olive There's oil is really part of the whole Mediterranean diet, right? Yes, it is. Yep. And which is, they find, natural. they've done so many it's studies the that they yep. have better lifespans yep. and better health. Better yep. skin, yep. Mm -hmm. better hair. So what are some tips that you can give women? Because it is overwhelming to think about it. Right. I want to lose really. weight, I want to eat healthier, I want to start exercising, Blah, I don't even know where to start. What are some directions that you can give? Like. Maybe like Easy. three simple yeah. starting points. Mm, okay. Three Plus, simple. as a family besides calling too. you, yeah, right, right. <laughs> to go shopping with us and read the labels. If, first of all, I'd love for people to understand that just because you're on a keto diet or the paleo diet or the whole thirty diet, There's oh, so I lost many. so much weight, right. and so you try it and you don't. It just doesn't work for you. Well, that's that's the way. Don't ever think that it's something will work for you, and it might, right. but don't ever Expect get discouraged. Right. Yes. And um, I think one of the best things you can do for yourself in the morning, and it, it can help you as well, is lemon juice. Squeeze half a lemon in warm water, not hot water. Warm it water, it, yeah. It, not hot cold. water destroys really? the so vitamin I've heard C. That so Drinking often. warm water when you wake up. Yep. And what about the apple cider vinegar? <gasps> <That's> <gasps> I was going to ask that. that. So I good. And I have it too. So I can you that. do? Lemon juice in warm water and a little yeah. bit of apple cider vinegar yeah. together. Yes, you can. Why? What is that? Yes, do you can. It's like a shot water. in the morning of goodness. Right. right. It just yes, kind it of is. Like revs okay. up your metabolism, right? Yeah. The first does. thing that lemon does is it. It's almost like a little mini detox because it, it really gets your liver produces. Okay. That's what produces your bile. You need the bile. It just gets everything moving. That's what you really want to have happen. So that it's great for you. Okay. And then the vinegar is great for your digestion. And you will see if you're, if, and if you, especially if you take it before meals, like mm -hmm. half an hour before meals, it helps with digestion. And you'll see, uh, maybe a tablespoon of water, you'll see, you'll probably see Wait, a few just, pounds that you could lose. Huh. It does Oh, I it have a silly help. question yeah. I'm dying to know. Oh, no, so no, no silly So questions. I eat a banana every morning mm -hmm. in a little granola thing. Mm -hmm. That's what I have in coffee. And then if I, I spin every day, so mm -hmm. and they always say potassium, potassium, eat a banana, eat a banana, right. eat a banana. So, but other people say bananas are just the worst fruit, and it's yeah, so fatty. That's so, what, what is the answer? Too. Potassium. There's a or lot no of sugar. Yes, but there's other ways to get potassium. A lot which of I natural have to think sugar. About. You're saying yes, that's uh, uh, yes. They're, yes, it's not fruits. that they're bad for but it's you. It's better than eating a bagel. I mean, like yes, right. Well, yes, but it's a yes. lot of sugar, sugar and like okay. it's a hit to your pancreas. It's like, like they say about oranges, mm -hmm. and you should never um, just drink orange juice. Well, that's another blog that, and that's a whole other story. But it's it's a it's a lot of sugar. Right. You're better off eating the whole orange because then you've got the fiber as well. But it's a really a hit to your pancreas. It's a real hit to your body. So, so yes, banana, but hits. maybe not every day. Right. And maybe half a banana. And maybe with a little some protein. Right. Because the granola is better. sweet as well. So the banana is a lot of sugar. Yeah. And I know because when you eat a banana, it feels so dense. Mm -hmm. And it feels you know, like it feels heavy, like, like you're, you're getting your meat eating. on your bones. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Interesting. Good and Melody, know. what about cleanses? What's your thought on the cleanses? Everybody's cleanse crazy. Yeah, and I, I know. know you do kind of the hydro. Right. Yeah. yeah, right. And so again, if you start eating well, mm -hmm. no processed foods. You know, the five ingredients or less. Do your lemon juice. Mm -hmm. And if you if you really feel like you wanted to do something a little extra during the day, and intermittent fasting too. Okay. Yeah, yeah fasting. Very beneficial. Do that. Um, mm. But the intermittent fasting, stop eating at like 7 o'clock at night. Your right. last meal, you know, right. 7.30, what whatever your time you finish. Right. Yeah. But like and the great thing to do hour. is go, go brush your teeth and floss and everything because then you're done. And then right. you don't want to snack. So right. then you go again. If you can go to like 10 o'clock the next morning, you've already had like a nice little mini fast. Right. And that's really, really good. Then do your lemon water. It's really, really good to get things That'll started. Get started. Right. Oh, that's and then during the day, something yeah. great to do to keep continue to flush. Mm -hmm. Is um, you uh, cr real cranberry juice, not ocean spray. You know, real <laughs> right. cranberry juice in, in water. Right, That's right. great to have. And you can make something like um, take a pitcher of water and put in a few slices of ginger and some mint leaves, some cucumber, yeah. and um, and lemon, and put some lemon in that and drink that well, all that day. It's like a deep it's really digestive. Good and, but it helps flush. And hmm. but just and you will, you'll see, you'll see little changes. You'll see, you know, you'll notice little changes. All great. But if you can things. taste that water, right? Ta I get a lot of clients who say, oh, but I don't like water because it's great to drink water. Yeah. And, you know, 
then put a little juice flavor in it. Yeah, flavor. Yeah, squeeze a little orange juice or lemon juice in it, but you know, have the flavor. So maybe with the ginger and the cucumber, it would it would taste good. Right. Because mm. they have those diffusers too. Yes. Which seen, are really yes, nice. They and they, the you can put your cucumber, yeah, strawberries, yeah, strawberries whatever in you want, and right. those are really nice. Right. They yeah. give nice flavor. So to wake the up in the morning with warm water, a little bit of lemon, some apple cider. Apple cider vinegar. Don't eat after apple seven o'clock at night. Seven, apple seven cider vinegar. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, apple cider. Yeah. And, no, and silly question, but if you if some of us who need to go for colonoscopies these days, yes. instead of doing that whole situation the night before, which is terrible, can we just come to you for a hydro <laughs> Maybe, maybe the, is it the, the same doctors thing? doctors probably No, wouldn't. it's yeah. not really. Okay. No, it's not the same thing. And, and you'd have to do take? more. Oh, the whole Your thing. Your procedure. The whole the procedure itself, about 40 minutes. Okay. okay. And do women... I'm saying women because that's mm -hmm. what we're interested in. Do they come to you because they are looking to, I don't know, lose weight? Eat health? Why do they do? I will do never tell you that you can lose weight. Decline. So why does somebody come just to kind of just you because feel better? Just because things just aren't moving right. Okay. And um, I would always ask, you know, how are you feeling? How are you moving? Well, you know, not so great. You know, how do you feel mm -hmm. afterwards? Do you feel like it's enough? And if you know, I get the right answers, and it everybody usually leaves because some women better. feel and inflated, it's they feel bloated, yes. bloated. they feel all those yep. symptoms that no one likes to say, but Absolutely. that's exactly what you're doing, you're treating all those things. Absolutely, mm -hmm. okay. and I see people walk in to me not feeling great, right? Not moving great, and their eyes are dull, right. and their body posture, their posture is just it's interesting, and then when they leave, every, they're brighter. Just and from one, one, one treatment. Oh. It's great. It's like a reset. It's like yeah, a body yeah, reset. See, that's getting yeah. rid of all I think we need a field trip, ladies. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So now, where yeah. is your where is your office or your studio? In, or? On Main Street in Farmington, mm -hmm. um, above Miss Porter's. If you know okay. where Miss yeah. Porter's is. Oh yeah, of course. Towards Plainville. It's okay. Uh, that Peaceful way. balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. we'll make sure we put all that great tips and Thank you and for coming. Up. This is great. But that was yeah. wonderful. And we have a nice gift for you. We do. What are the benefits of red? Red what, wine. Are, what are the benefits of red wine? It's not that. I'm sure there are so much. Thank you so much. Thank you no, for I being like on red with wine. us. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Thank you. Yes, thank we'll you be right much. back. Well, she so was wonderful. Interesting. Yeah, that yes. is a lot of valuable information. Yes. I want to go for the ear coning. I want to put too. olive oil I'm, all over it together. Okay. Yeah. I you want to do okay. olive oil? You, you want to bathe in olive oil? You put the olive oil on um, you, yeah. and I'm going to do the colon hydro. Oh, all right, so I'll do a different Perfect. service, different but things. I think, I think it'll Sounds be great. great. Yeah. I do. I, I need a reset. Well, let's report back, or we go together, one or the other. I absolutely think that people are staying away from more processed food right. and becoming... Definitely. Becoming, they're becoming smarter. It's a lot of times people didn't know. Right, right. knowledge, right. right. Mm -hmm. The red dye. That's scary. It scary is. that all that stuff's out there. But and yeah. it's you know geared towards our kids. It's all these colorful right. cereals, right? And these yeah, packaged things. Yeah. So, it's but on a fun note, out. girls. Yeah. On a fun note, mom's time out. We yep. have amazing stuff going on. We right? do. We do. And we can't thank the community enough. But um, we have these lovely glasses made. You two can have one. Um, we so have awesome. a great gal who's making these, and also T-shirts. You can get any sort of design you want on them. Which is mom rocks. Mom, mom rocks. rocks. You, you know, dance Instagram, mom. mom. Any creative saying you can, you can. We'll think put them on we'll our Facebook and our you. Instagram, and you can get them right off. Right yes. Facebook and yeah. so yeah. we'll have a website we're building now. Yeah. Yep. Um, and then around town, what else will we have going around? We're going to have a lot of events coming up, I think, in February. So just mm -hmm. stay tuned. Yep. Keep yep. an eye on what's happening. In our, we love right. we love when moms come out and join us. A mom, a fur Please, mom, a Any lady human being mom, anybody. anybody. Grandma, so future yeah. mom. Anybody. And you know what else yeah. we want? We want you guys to come, some people to come in our, in our audience here. Yeah. Yes. yes. That's a new thing. We have, we have some fun live audience members yeah. here today, so that's mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. yeah. So stay tuned. So thank Cheers. you. And don't forget. You put, put the, the time, time in. Don't, don't forget, forget to take the time out. Ooh, they they're really clinky. Really cool I like it. And they snuggle up real tight. They sit in front of your screen Where everything we show is exactly how it seems Everything we show is right for you